Many of our customers have asked how to get the longest, smoothest tails possible on the herb bird. Of course, the very longest tail is with infinite decay, but we'll edge back just a bit towards realism. We'll turn size up very high to get a tremendous sense of space. Depending on the type of sound used, a slightly longer pre-delay setting could be valuable. We'll set it so that the tail starts coming in after the initial transient is over. Now the real key is in the modulation section. Turning the speed up to audio rate has the effect of smoothing the tail. The two sides of the depth section each give us a different feel. With cyclic modulation, if the depth goes high enough, it actually starts to sap energy from the verb, so there is an ideal setting for it. On the ergodic side, the modulation is less predictable, so the ear does not hear it as directly. But it can still start to stand out or sound unrealistic if the depth goes high enough. And of course there is shimmer at the far end. Somewhere around 2 to 3 o'clock is the ideal setting for the type of long tails found in many modern digital reverbs. Once we've decided on our ideal modulation settings, we can add absorption to taste, darkening the tone and smoothing the tails. For the longest possible decay time without overwhelming the input, we can patch the CV out to the decay CV in and set the attenuverter to 10 or 11, which will let the decay go long, but keep it from getting out of hand.